The UK's helicopter fleet, think Apache AH-64E, Chinook, Wildcat, and Merlin, is solid. But some of these birds are getting long in the tooth. By the 2030s and 2040s, the Royal Air Force, Royal Navy, and British Army will need next-gen rotorcraft to stay ahead in high-intensity conflicts. Enter the Future Vertical Lift Cooperative Program, a deal signed with the US Army back in February 2022. This isn't about the UK building its own shiny new helicopters from scratch. It's about tapping into the US's massive FVL program to ensure British forces can fly alongside NATO allies with seamless interoperability. The US Future Vertical Lift Program, FVL for short, is a beast, aiming to replace aging platforms like the UH-60 Blackhawk and OH-58 Kiowa with cutting-edge machines. The UK jumped on board to share tech, reduce costs, and make sure their future choppers can sync up with American ones in joint ops. Think of it like a transatlantic tech-sharing party. The focus? Advanced rotorcraft, unmanned systems, and modular payloads that can handle everything from air assault to medevac in contested skies. Plus, the UK has got its own new medium helicopter program and some wild EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing projects brewing, which tie into this bigger vision. This all kicks off from the Lancaster House Treaties vibe, where the UK and France have been collabing on defense tech, like the sick future cruise and anti-ship weapon missiles we've talked about before. While those are for jets like the F-35, the UK's FVL efforts could see similar missile tech arming future helicopters. It's all about building a connected, lethal air force for the 21st century. Let's dive into what these future platforms might look like. So, what kind of tech is the UK scoping out? Since the UK is piggybacking on the US FVL program, let's talk about the star players. The future long-range assault aircraft, Flara for short, and unmanned systems, with a nod to the now-canceled future attack reconnaissance aircraft, Fara for short. Here's the lowdown on what's cooking. The Flara, led by Bell's V-280 Valor, is the US's answer to replacing the Blackhawk. This bad boy is a tilt rotor. Think V-22 Osprey vibes but sleeker. It's got a cruising speed of around 280 knots, 322 miles per hour, nearly double the Blackhawks, and a combat range pushing 500 to 800 nautical miles. That's some serious reach. It can carry up to 14 troops or a hefty payload, with a modular design that screams versatility, think air assault, medevac or cargo runs. The V-280 uses fly-by-wire tech and advanced avionics, making it super agile and easy to integrate with modern networks. The UK is looking at whether this beast could replace its aging Puma or even complement the Chinook. Then there's the unmanned side. The US is all in on future unmanned aerial systems, UAS, and air-launched effects, ALE. Think drones that can swarm, scout or jam enemy systems. These could plug into the UK's future fleet, working alongside manned helicopters for recon or strikes. Imagine a British Apache coordinating with a swarm of AI-driven drones straight out of a sci-fi flick. The UK's also got its own spice to add. The new medium helicopter program is eyeing contenders like Leonardo's AW149 or Airbus's WON 75M to replace the Puma by the mid-2025s. These aren't FEL platforms per se, but they could borrow FEL's open systems architecture for easy upgrades. And don't sleep on EVTOL tech. UK-based Vertical Aerospace is testing the VX4, a hybrid electric craft that could evolve into a military beast with longer range and heavier payloads. Picture a stealthy, eco-friendly chopper zipping through contested zones. Oh, and let's not forget the missile connection. The UK's collab with France on the future cruise and anti-ship weapon, FKSW for short, and Meteor successor could arm these platforms. A V-280 or AW-149 lobbing stealthy cruise missiles? That's next-level firepower.
So why should you care? The UK's FVL push brings some serious advantages to the table. First off, interoperability is huge. By aligning with the US, British forces can roll into NATO ops with zero hiccups, sharing data, weapons, and tactics. Whether it's a joint air assault in Eastern Europe or a maritime strike in the Indo-Pacific, UK and US rotorcraft will be on the same wavelength. Next, cost savings. Developing helicopters from scratch is crazy expensive. Billions of pounds, years of delays. By tapping into the US's $7 billion Flara program, the UK gets access to cutting-edge tech without breaking the bank. It's like getting a Black Friday deal on a next-gen chopper. Plus, shared R&D means faster timelines and lower risks. Then there's the tech edge. The V280's tiltrotter design means faster deployment and longer reach, perfect for rapid response in a crisis. Unmanned systems add flexibility. Drones can scout dangerous zones, leaving manned platforms safer, and that open systems architecture. It's like building a helicopter with a USB port, plug in new sensors, weapons, or AI as tech evolves. Finally, strategic clout. With threats like Russia and China flexing advanced air defenses, the UK needs rotorcraft that can penetrate contested skies. FVL platforms, paired with stealthy missiles like FCAS-W, give the UK the punch to deter or dominate. It's about staying relevant in a world where warfare is getting faster and meaner. Military analysts are buzzing about the UK's FVL move, but there's a mix of hype and caution. General Sir Mark Schwartz, a former British Army aviation commander, called the US-UK agreement a force multiplier in a 2023 Defense News interview. He said interoperability with the US is non-negotiable. FVL gives us a seat at the table to shape the future of coalition air power. He's stoked about the V-280 speed and range, saying could redefine how we project power from land or sea. The EVTOL angle is getting love. Jane's Defense Weekly ran a piece praising Vertical Aerospace's VX4, with analyst Tom Harrow saying, hybrid electric platforms could be a dark horse for military logistics or special ops by 2035. But he cautioned that battery tech needs to mature to handle combat payloads. Meanwhile, MBDA's missile integration gets thumbs up. Aviation Week Sarah Clark called FCASW a natural fit for future rotorcraft, boosting their lethality.